may not realize that things go back a lot further than uh, maybe five years ago or ten years ago. Or who are some of the people you've listened to? What would you recommend as far as like essential listening artists they should get into? There's two albums that I, I really loved when I was uh, growing up. That was uh, Bruce Lipp, Eric Clapton, and John Mayall. And that's, I mean, that's still available. I mean, that's uh, for some reason I think enough people know that album to be a seminal guitar player's album. So you go out and you, you try to find that it's on London Records somewhere. Uh, it's possibly Eric Clapton's finest playing. Yeah, I agree. Opinion. I agree. And another record that I love a lot is uh, the first Cold Butterfield Blues album with the guitar mm -hmm. player Michael Bloomfield. And both of those guys, uh, I think, showed the American version and the English version of the Delta Blues. Mm -hmm. And of course, you can go back even farther. I mean, there are a lot of great guitar players, yeah. the original guitar players. Was, so. Yeah, I mean, Mike Bloomfield was probably the most influential guy at that time because the English were were just jumping right off from his his point. He would pick up a Sunburst Les Paul, the next thing that you knew, all those guys were, were, were playing Sunburst Les Paul. So I think Bloomfield was a real seminal character in the blues revival in yeah. the late mid to late 60s. I think so. I think that Clapton came along and really took it because in, in the late 60s, the blues were, were so big. But I think it's important to realize that heavy metal uh, was really amplified blues. I mean, very sure. loudly amplified sure. blues. So if you go back there and you follow then the progression of all the metal bands from Black Sabbath on up, you'll see how they all started at that point and then brought themselves slowly up to where they are now. So you get these the dissonant progressions and you get all you know, the Judas Priest stuff and the Twisted Sister stuff, the Eddie Van Halen sure. stuff. Well, you could draw a family tree. I mean, oh, if you exactly. start with Robert Johnson and even earlier than that and just come right up, who, you know, who listened to him, then who listened to those people? I mean, Eddie Van Halen listened to Eric Clapton and on and on. Sure. Now kids listening to him and to you yeah. and to, you know, and, and they're going to be... Well, Gary, Gary Moore is one of my favorite contemporary guitar players. Mm -hmm. And of course, he comes from that kind of tradition as well. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I, I mean, man, I happen to uh, respect Leslie West for his vibrato. Mm -hmm. Comes from that tradition. I think if you if you go back there and you mind what they mind, mm -hmm. and you bring that up into your contemporary playing, you'll just be right. a better guitar player. Right. Well, great. I think that's those are very good good words, words to the wise, and uh, keep it keep it in mind out there. I mean, you really should go to the source, as I have done and JJ has done, and we're going to show you some of that source now. Again, it's a pleasure having you here. Okay. We'll look forward to more tapes in the future, more lessons up here. So practice. And what do you want to do? A little cross cut solo or something? Okay, a little blues. Okay, here we go. <laughs>